This is Gary with T-Shirt Help Desk, and you're watching Creative Corner. All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Stefan here with All America Prince Ply. We're very excited to have a very special guest with us today. You've seen him on YouTube. You've probably seen him at the trade shows. Allow me to introduce the man who needs no introduction, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. T-Shirt Health Desk himself, Gary Ajanay. Thank you so much for joining us. How you doing, Gary? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You know, it's an absolute pleasure. So you're, you're back on the West Coast now, Gary. We yes. just had you over here in California for ISS. How yes. was that? Uh, it was great. I loved uh, the trade shows. I loved getting out here and meeting people. People, um, people tell me that, uh, you know, some people tell me that I've inspired them to get into this industry, so that always makes me feel good. And it gives me an opportunity to learn what's new in the t-shirt industry. Absolutely. You know, we tell our audience all the time, if you got one of these you can make it out to or do a little travel, you can really see kind of the state of the industry and really what's coming next. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well, we're so thrilled to have you here for our California Open House. Absolutely, and there's, there's good stuff all over the place here, man. I'm excited. How would you tell people you got your start in printing? Okay, first I was a uh, major brand graphic designer for uh, 20 years. Okay. And uh, 2008, the market crashed and I got laid off. And um, after that, it was like tough getting a job. You know, I got a job here, a job there. And I was just like, eh. So I had some money saved and I said, you know what, I'm going to start my own screen printing business. I've been doing these t-shirts, making other people rich. I'm gonna start a screen printing business and I'm gonna do this for myself. And I'm gonna print for other people. Problem was, once I did that, I got a partner and we invested in all this equipment and I realized that I hate screen printing. I was like, damn, is there another way? Then I started learning about all these other ways outside of screen printing and I learned about uh, custom plastic saw transfers. And I was just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to teach this to people. You know, I need, cause, I, cause you know, a lot of times screen printers take advantage of people, especially when you're first starting. So I said, I need to teach this to people and T-shirt that was, was born. What's something you could share with our audience that you wish you had learned earlier from your beginning days in the industry? I wish I had learned the power of marketing Printing is easy, but you need to have that. You need to understand business and how to get that audience because you can have all this equipment. I talked about this yesterday. You can have all this equipment, but if you're not getting sales, it's going to be on Craigslist in a month or two. So learn how to learn business and learn how to sell and learn how to market your product first. Very good. Valuable stuff there, man. I appreciate that. What would you say to someone maybe trying to make the decision between bringing production in-house versus outsourcing their garment manufacturing? Uh, I would say that that has to be a personal based on your, um, your experience and your budget. So if you're inexperienced, I would say do something like print on demand to get your chops up to learn the art uh, and science of selling. And then, once you have some money coming in, you can make a better educated um, decision. decision and you don't have that startup risk because you already understand, you, you, if that makes sense, you already understand how the business works and it's, it's not such a risk to buy equipment. Absolutely, I think you've heard you say before, print on demand is kind of a lower risk sort of learning for diving into the garment industry. Yes, yes. If you're already popular or if you already have an audience, you can do it any way you want to do it. But if you're starting from scratch and you don't have a lot of money, I say start low and just learn, like print on demand and just learn the business and then work your way up. What kind of options would you say are available for people who have no graphic design experience but are interested in getting into custom apparel? That's a good question. I mean, this is a, this is a tough one because I don't want to hurt people's feelings. Gotcha. But <laughs> some people, just like some people are born with athletics and some people have to really practice and work hard, some people are born with the gift of like talent, you know, how to design. So with them, all you have to do is learn a program. You know, you can learn Photoshop, Illustrator. There's something new I call Kittle, which is really, really great. Canva. If not, if you don't have that, and just be honest with yourself, I would say find yourself um, art that's already created, like templates, or go to somewhere like Fiverr or Upwork and find yourself 
uh, a designer and just pay someone to do it for you. They're not that expensive, you know. But you got to be honest with yourself, like because you you did it, it'll, it'll look good to you, but to the rest of us, we're like, that's not. That's, that's not a pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so just be honest with yourself. But there's always a way. What is one tip you can give for perhaps a startup brand uh -huh. in regards to social media? Be consistent. Do it a lot. It'll post at least three times a day on, on whatever platform. And if you can't do that, once again, you can go to Fiverr or Upwork and hire a social media manager, outsource, and let and let them do it. But you have to be consistent. You know, you have you have to put you have to uh, have to be consistent in the beginning. You have to post at least three, maybe even five times a day. I know I don't do that, but, <laughs> but to you guys, I, I would say do do it do that. Be consistent. Do it a lot and do it often. Consistency is a key to yes. so many things. So that mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. On your channel, T-Shirt Help Desk, which you guys can find on YouTube, Instagram, all the other big ones. TikTok. Uh, you cut TikTok, that's right. You cover a lot of different printing methods. What would you say are perhaps two of your favorite and maybe a brief reason why? Right now, my favorite, and I'm not the only one, is DTF. That's my, my, my favorite. My second favorite would be sublimation. DTF is number one because it's so easy it's a few steps, but as you get such a professional end product uh, in-house without having to go to screen printers and, and things. And sublimation because it's just a one-step process, but you have to use polyester and all that stuff. But I think those two are my favorites. No, I mean, between where the sublimation shines, especially with our hard surface products, mm -hmm. drinkware, photo panels, yeah, yeah. and then the material flexibility of direct-to-film, mm -hmm. those two right there, you're covering a lot of bases. Yes, and you can get into both of those. You can get into both of those for less than the price of a, a, D, a DTG machine or some of this expensive equipment, you know? You can get into them for less. All right, Gary, now along your printing journey, what can you share as far as one of the big game changers that lit the light bulb or I can make some money with this stuff? When I started doing this, right, I did it as a, to like put something out there in case someone was looking, you know, hey, you could do this instead of screen printing, whatever. And when I saw how many people gravitated to this, because this was a long time ago when there was just like maybe three of us doing influencer stuff online. When I saw how many people started watching those videos and leaving comments, I was like, wow, this this is something, this is something here. I had no idea, because I did it just, you know, what the hell, let me just do it. And then people, it started it started going crazy, and then people started contacting me for sponsorships and to promote product, and I was like, what? are you serious? And uh, yeah, that was, that was when it really like took over, because I wanted to tell people there's alternatives to screen printing. Gotcha. Just, you know, and that this is a viable, because I had made so many people money in this thing, like you can make money for yourself. And, uh, and I thought that just, you know, just a few people would be interested, but I had no idea that the amount of people that were interested would be interested. So that was a game changer. And I said, okay, all right, I'm gonna do this. All right, so we touched on how direct to film is one of your favorite print methods. Obviously, at All America Print Supply, we're huge fans of DTF. Absolutely. What could you share as far as maybe a main pro and a main con when it comes to direct to film? Pro is you get such an awesome end product and you could do it at home, right? And although there are ancillary things that you can add that will make it better, all you need is the DTF machine. Heat press, you have to have that for virtually every like way to print at home. Agreed. So if you have that machine and you have a heat press, yes. you can be a legitimate printing business. That's, that's the pro. And you have a product that is on par with stuff that you see in stores, on par with screen printers, right? The con is that uh, it is some steps. It's not like one step process. Yeah. And depending on the printer you have, it can be slow. It can be, you know, it can be the printing process can be slow, but uh, it balances itself. It balances itself out. 
And um, that's pretty much it, but that thing, that thing rocks. No, oh, absolutely. Something we always like to tell people, with the right artwork, even if you're not the fastest horse in the race, direct to film, the quality of what you said, what the end user ends up with as far as final product, you can really compete with anybody out yes. there. Yes, yes indeed, yes indeed. I love it, I love it. It's, 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 it's really a game changer. It's really a game changer. That's why if you go to the shows like we talked about, everywhere you look is DTF, 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 DTF. It's, yeah. it's changed the, it's changed, it's disrupted. It's disrupting the industry, I think. In a good way. In a good way, <laughs> in a good way. For us, for the consumer. Absolutely. Yes. All right, so I know we just kicked off 2023. We just had the Impressions Expo. What's something you're looking forward to this year? Making more content. I'm looking forward to meeting, you know, with more companies and great people like this. And I'm looking forward to um, just innovation and just uh, prosperity, I, I would say. And um, bringing you guys more stuff in terms of e-commerce, okay. you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's really about it, yeah. Good, good. Are there any trends you're predicting or maybe you have on your forecast for 2023 you can share with the audience? I think that there's gonna be a lot of uh, uh, puff printing and and stuff that stands out like uh, silicone printing yes. is going to be is going to be kind of kind of big this year. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, like fleece. I think there's going to be a lot of sweatsuits and velour suits and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing that, and um, that's that's really about it. A lot of homegrown, a lot of homegrown stuff. So get out there and make something happen. Gary, firstly, from all of us here at All American, I want to give you a big thank you for your time. I know you go back with uh, some of our contacts here, but it's absolutely. been an honor to work alongside you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No, absolutely. Now, for all of us, our audience watching, where can they find more helpful content and insight from Gary T-Shirt Help Desk? All right, you can go to all socials, or most of them. Uh, YouTube is the biggest one, uh, IG and TikTok, and just put in T-Shirt Help Desk, and you'll find me and you'll find really good content on how to start a t-shirt business. Agreed, I'm subscribed, so you guys should too. Uh, Gary, where's your next adventure taking you? It's early 2023. Wow, I don't know, there's a few shows that I may go to, but I'm just gonna let the wind blow me wherever it, it blows me, and I'll be there. You know what, let's end it on that note. If you haven't already, make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video, hit that red subscribe button. If you have any questions more further for Gary, I, we're kind of friends now, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'll ask him for you. You got anything to sign him off with, my brother? I'm finna put some butter on my shoes along with Esteban, and we are gonna slide on out the dope.